Hi, uh, I'm here with Kodak. Uh, she's a long school friend of mine. Uh, I was able to do some practice work on him for lesson six, and he was also in some of the write ups in the earlier lessons, so I've used him a couple of times. Um, <clears throat> for today, I have moved him out of his where his stall is because he lives in an aisle that's heavily tra uh, traffic because it's next to an arena. And I brought him over to the barn where my horse lives because. Uh, Really a dead end aisle, and typically not a lot of people or horses coming through here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started with him. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, with his pole with some finger tip compressions. And then his masseter. Um, pressing will be going to go on over to the other side, so that the same way with this whole fingertip compression. He doesn't really seem to mind me being in his ears, so I, uh, I can press a little bit and then do his masseter. <clears throat> Starting to work on his neck, uh, here's his splenius, his trapezius, and his brachiocephalic. And I'm just going to start with some light apparatus and move into some compressions with the heel of my hand. We actually find a bit of pressure. Some cross fiber friction. And cross fiber friction here. Followed with some FRS. Do some push pull on the crest of his neck. And I'm going to move over to the other side and do the same thing. Start with the upper. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Um. Oh yes. And then move into some compressions. Does that feel good? to his withers, which are here, just some muscle combing, and some cross fiber friction. Withers, starting with that muscle combing, cross fiber friction. Moving on to 
his back, I have the longissimus muscles. So, I'm gonna start with just some effort and then using my heel of my hand, go into a press and glide. I don't feel any knots or slumps or bumps. Cross fiber friction, separate everything. And end with some apparatus. Go over the other side. Start with some of that uprise. Moving into the press and glide with the heel of my hand. I'm actually applying a fair amount of pressure. And then some cross fiber friction. which are here. And I'm just gonna start with some muscle combing. With my fingertips. And then some cross fiber friction. Oops. Oh, he must have hit his back. I'm stopping to see if, uh, because he reacted in his spot, and then um, now that I'm applying pressure there, he's actually released a bit and he's chewing. And I'll do a little bit of kneading. I'm gonna go back to the muscle pulling, kind of watching his reaction. Cross fiber friction. <laughs> and just some apparatus. I'm going to go over to the deltoids and the triceps on the other side. Same thing, I'm starting with some muscle combing. I'm going to move on to some cross fiber friction. So he's responding actually in the same area of that tricep on uh, this right side that he was in the left. <laughs> so let me see. I'm not using my fingers for some compression. Going back to the cross fiber friction. ending with some muscle combing. Okay. So from there, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move on to his glutes, which are here. And I'm just gonna start out with some muscle combing. Some cross fiber friction. And actually some compression. Find it easier here. I have a harder time with the heel of my hands, so it's 
Um, I like to use my fingertips more. And back to cross fiber friction, ending with some effleurage. Pretty light at this point. Go to the other side. Start with some muscle combing. And I'm going to go to some compression with my fingers. Some cross fiber friction. And end with effleurage. He's clearly shutting. <laughs> okay, um, okay, so after his glutes, I'm gonna go to his upper hamstrings, which are here, the semitendinosus. And I am gonna start with just some fingertip compressions. I don't feel any knots or lumps or anything, um, but they do feel a little tight. <clears throat> Also do some cross fiber friction, some kneading, and then just some compression with my fingers. The other side. Start with this compression using my fingertips. Cross fiber friction, I'm trying to get the muscles to separate a little bit. And then back to compression. Try to use the heel of my hand, although it's an awkward position for me. And then just some effleurage. Okay, so from there, uh, I'm gonna go over to the tensor fascia and just use some friction. A little bit of kneading. and some muscle combing. Same thing on the other side. Go ahead and do some cross fiber friction with his tensor fascia here. He's chewing. <laughs> And a little compression, he seems tight. He's just some sounding here. And then just some outer Okay, after his sensor fascia, I'm going to go to his quads, which are here. So I'm just going to start with some muscle combing. And some cross fiber friction. Side. 
And his quads is starting with some muscle combing, cross fiber friction. So he's real, he's much tighter on the side. Some muscle combing. So now I'm using more of a finger tip compression. Okay. We move them. There you go. Boy. Okay, so then from the quads, I am gonna go ahead and go to his gas skin. And I am going to, I gotta this a little bit. Just uh, kind of a heel hand compression, pushing everything down into his hook. Going over to the gas can on the other side, same thing. Using that compression to just so, um, his adductors, which are located in here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, he actually has quite a bit of room, he's not super tight, but I'm just gonna go ahead and knead his adductors. Oh, and just some gas. Go to the other side, same thing. which are uh, up here, and then his posterior pecs. So for his anterior pecs, I'm just gonna do a little bit of kneading. And then here, some muscle combing. Cross fiber friction. And some epilogue over to the other side. Same thing, some kneading of these anterior pecs. Muscle combing of his posterior pec. Cross fiber friction. and some epilogue. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna finish up um, here with his external obliques with the internal obliques underneath and then his rectus abdominis. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of muscle combing Trying to apply a little bit of pressure so he's not too ticklish, which he seems like he might be a little ticklish. Some cross fiber friction. And some effleurage. 
So the other side, same thing. The muscle combing. And some cross friction. Thank you.